Hello. In this video, we are going to see a concept known as Nicole's chart. In control systems, especially in the frequency domain, we have a number of graphical methods which is used to uh, used to predict the stability of a system, and Nicole's chart is one of them. Nicole's chart basically consists of M and N contours that are superimposed on ordinary graph. So first we need to know what this M and N contours are. The M contours are the magnitude of the closed loop system in decibels and the N contours are the corresponding phase angle locus of the closed loop system. So the ordinary graph it consists of the magnitude in decibel which is marked on the y axis and the phase in degrees which is marked on the x axis. Now using the Nicole's chart, the closed loop frequency response can be determined graphically from the locus of the open loop frequency response. When the Nicole's plot of g of j omega is sketched on a Nicole's chart, the locus of g of j omega will cut the m and n contours at various points. And this cutting point of locus of g of j omega with the m contour gives the magnitude of the closed loop frequency response corresponding to a frequency same as that of g of j omega at that point. This cutting point of locus of g of j omega and n contour will similarly give the phase of the closed loop frequency response corresponding to a frequency same as that of g of j omega at that particular point. Now the magnitude m and the phase angle alpha so the m and n where n stands for tan alpha of a closed loop system can be tabulated. And the closed loop frequency response consists of two plots and they are going to be the magnitude m versus omega and the phase angle alpha versus omega. Hence using these tabulated values of the body plot of the closed loop system can be drawn. The Nicole's chart also helps to find out the various frequency domain specifications. And these are the methods or these are the ways by which the various frequency domain specifications are found out. The resonance peak MR and the resonance frequency omega R. I hope you remember that the resonance peak MR is the maximum value of magnitude of the closed loop transfer function and the resonance frequency is the particular frequency at which the resonance peak occurs. It is given by the formula. The resonant peak MR is given by 1 by 2 zeta into root of 1 minus zeta square and omega R is given by omega N into root of 1 minus 2 zeta square where zeta is the damping ratio and omega N is the natural frequency. Now the resonant peak is given by the value of M contour which is tangent to the G of J omega locus. And the resonant frequency is given by the frequency of g of g omega at the tangency point. We'll see the graph in the next slide. The next frequency domain specification is the bandwidth, uh, which represents the range of frequencies for which the system gain is greater than 3 dB. So the bandwidth is given by the frequency corresponding to the intersection point of g of g omega and the minus 3 dB M contour. Bandwidth is denoted by omega B and it is given by the formula omega B is equal to omega N into 1 minus 2 zeta square plus root of 2 minus 4 zeta square plus 4 zeta raised to 4 the whole raised to 1 by 2. The next are the two important concepts that is the gain margin and the phase margin based on which we do find out the stability of the system. The gain margin, as we all know, is given by the negative of the magnitude of g of j omega in decibel at the phase crossover frequency omega pc. And at phase crossover frequency, the phase of g of j omega is minus 180 degree. So the gain margin kg in decibel is going to be minus the magnitude of g of j omega at pc in decibel. And the phase margin gamma is given by gamma equal to 180 degree plus 5 gc where 5 gc is the phase of g of j omega at the gain crossover frequency that is omega gc and the gain crossover frequency indicates the magnitude of g of j omega when at 0 d. 
let's move on to the graph so this represents the nicole's chart and as you can see this y axis which shows 0 db minus 12 db plus 32 db etc this is your y axis which represents the magnitude in decibel and this is your x axis which represents 0 degree minus 90 degree 180 degree etc so this gives you this is your face okay so this represents your face in x axis now as you can see the g of j omega locus is shown and we also have the m contour so this is the maximum uh, magnitude and hence this particular contour is when m is equal to mr so since m is equal to mr this particular frequency at which your g of j omega locus and your mr is intersecting that is going to be your resonant frequency omega r okay and this is your g of j omega locus and this represents the m contour at minus 3 db hence this particular intersection where your m is equal to minus 3 db and the g of j omega locus is intersecting this intersection point gives you your bandwidth omega b so now we have mentioned what is mr what is omega r and what is omega b now we need the two main important concepts which is the gain margin and phase margin and for that we need to find out the phase crossover frequency and the gain crossover frequency now as you can see this is our 0 db line and this 0 db line is crossing your g of j omega locus at this particular point so this particular frequency is going to be your gain crossover frequency i repeat this is your 0 db line and this is the g of j omega locus so this point is going to be your omega gc or the gain crossover frequency so this when extended to your phase plot gives you your phi of gc and hence 180 degree plus phi gc gives you phase margin since this is minus 180 we can say that this particular phase difference gives you your phase margin now again since this is the minus 180 degree line we can be sure that this particular point represents your omega pc which means the phase crossover frequency hence this phase crossover frequency then corresponding to your g of j omega is going to give you this negative value is going to give you your gain margin and hence this difference represents your gain margin so this is your omega P, uh, gc that is sorry the omega pc which is your phase crossover frequency and this is your omega gc that is the gain crossover frequency thank you